So this is a short video, uh, it's really just a minute or so just to describe the NTV 600 Revere. Um, mainly for those who haven't ridden one before and know what they're like. One of the weak points on these bikes is this exhaust system here. Although it's got a stainless header on it, this silencer here is miles through. You can see there the swelling where the baffle was underneath have expanded a little bit. Anyway, that's not a big problem to fix. First thing you really notice with these bikes is how low the seat height is when you sit on it. It is quite low. So it's perfect for somebody who didn't want a big bike. The performance is mediocre. It's only really designed as a sort of a, a workhorsey kind of bike, which is why the couriers buy them. When you've got those solid wheels, V-twin liquid cord engine, which is absolutely robust, and a shaft drive system, it's really low maintenance. There are lots of these around, so second-hand parts are very easy to find. Although some have done high mileage, where the couriers have had them, there's quite a lot where older, sort of mature chaps have bought them and ridden them. There's quite a few one-owner bikes around and that kind of thing, so some of them have got very low mileage. In fact, this one here, 1980s bike with 23,000 miles on it, it actually feels like it's probably about right. Um, what else can you say? It's a robust, nice all-rounder with a low seat height. Value of the bike is probably somewhere in the order of a thousand pounds, which is probably higher than most bikes of that year, really because they're quite a well-made bike and people seem to know it. But anyway, if you've got questions, ask. I probably won't know the answer, but you can try if you like.